Tesla just concluded their AI day event and they had a lot to talk about, about neural networks and training cars for full self-driving and all that, but they led all the way up to their new Tesla robot. So we're gonna talk all about that today and let's get into it. As Tesla explained at this event, they are much more than an electric car company. They are working on tons of stuff with battery innovations that they showed us on Battery Day, and here they are working on AI and deep AI and neural network learning and training for their self-driving cars. At the event, they took us through the work that they've been doing with Autopilot in the last four years. They showed that for Autopilot, driving on normal highways and such, it's not too difficult for it to handle those situations. It's when you get to city streets that they've had to do all sorts of problem solving and learn how to take data from cameras and label it in the correct way so that the car understands it and can drive effectively. So four years ago, they would have a single image analyzed by this neural network, and it was a 1280 by 960 video at 12 bit at 36 hertz. When they first really hit a lot of issues was with their smart summon feature, which many of us have experienced and know still isn't that great. So they went into incredible detail about all sorts of things that I do not fully understand and a lot of people don't fully understand, but we know a lot of people out there are very excited and that the purpose of this event is for recruiting for Tesla. But one thing they talked about quite a bit is when stuff gets in the way of the cameras. For instance, if a car drives by and blocks the cameras for a second, does that mean everything that it thought behind that camera disappeared as well? And what they've trained this neural network to do is have kind of a short-term memory so that it remembers that that object is still going to be there when that car disappears, even though it couldn't see it. One particularly interesting thing they talked about is for lane changes. Right now, Teslas can do auto lane change. And he talked about when you're doing an auto lane change, it is choosing from 2,500 different options. It does a full search of 2,500 different options that it could take within 1.5 milliseconds, and then makes the decision that it thinks it's most effective. But now Autopilot has to actually plan for different drivers. So in a case like this, when this car is coming down and only one car can fit, it has to predict, is that car going to stop for you? Is that car gonna speed through? And typically in the past, Autopilot would have just stopped because it didn't know what to do. And in this case, it's actually looking at the other car and determining what will they do, as well as determining what your car is gonna do since it's driving for itself. Where it really got crazy is when they were showing 3D labeling and how good it is getting. All Teslas come with eight cameras on them and they are labeling all of this data to make it useful for full self-driving. But at the same time, it's making incredibly realistic pictures of the real world. They went into great detail about their simulations, showing that simulations that they are doing based on this camera data look almost as good as the real world. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell it apart like with this picture of the Cybertruck. They're able to use this simulation for autopilot labeling and simulation for all sorts of different things, and it's really, really impressive. But in order to achieve this, that's when they got to the hardware portion of the event where they talked about their Dojo computer. And all throughout this, it's had this kind of hint of why is all of this necessary for only full self-driving? We can see why it's necessary for full self-driving, but it's gotta apply to other stuff, right? So Tesla unveiled their D1 chip, which uses seven nanometer technology. It has 50 billion transistors and a bunch of these are put together, all of this craziness into this incredible Dojo supercomputer that they still haven't built yet, but they have plans for based on all of the chips that they have built so far. Basically, it is the most impressive machine learning computer that there ever has been. And Tesla is working on that and it's incredibly impressive and they have a lot of ambitions for that in the future. But then came the part where they talked about this technology beyond the vehicle fleet. Because this whole time it's led to, wow, if you're able to take all the cameras from a car and 3D label the entire world around it, you could apply this to a lot more stuff. And then Tesla finally unveiled this. They made a little joke about it running on stage and dancing and that was fake, but the robot itself and the idea behind it is entirely real. It is not functional yet, but it is a prototype that they are planning to make within the year. Elon Musk said they should have a prototype probably next year, so most of us know by now to not count on it for next year, but here are some of the details. The reason Tesla decided to do this is because they say it makes sense to put all of this technology into a humanoid form, and they are designing it specifically to be something that you can outrun and is very friendly. The point is that it will navigate through the human world to take on tasks that are boring, dangerous, or repetitive for humans. It is five foot eight inches tall, it has autopilot cameras in the head, it has the full self-driving computer inside of it, and they say they're actually going to build it. Some of the technologies they talked about at AI Day are very much implemented into this project and this idea that they have, including multicam video neural networks, 
neural net planning, auto labeling, simulation and tools, FSD hardware, and dojo training. It's tough to tell how functional and how real this is because they have a lot of specific details about this and they had one on stage, but obviously it couldn't move yet. It's five foot eight, 125 pounds. It has a screen on the face for useful information. It uses lightweight materials, has human level hands apparently, and uses 40 electromechanical actuators. 12 for the arms, two for the neck, two for the torso, 12 for the hands, and 12 for the legs. There are two axis feet for balancing, and then the feet also have force feedback sensing. As far as what this robot can do physically, it says that it can carry 45 pounds, it can deadlift 150 pounds, and an arm extended lift can carry 10 pounds. Its max speed is five miles per hour so that you can outrun it if something were to go horribly wrong. And again, it's friendly, and Tesla is going with the name Tesla Bot for the time being. So the overarching reason for this unveil is Tesla showing that they are working on some insane technologies in their cars that are able to be applied and will be applied elsewhere. While other companies are focused just on self-driving and using LiDAR as Elon talks about being a fool's errand, they are seriously working on artificial intelligence to achieve that, but it can be applied anywhere. Again, the purpose of this event was to recruit people and get people to go, oh my gosh, Tesla is working on a Tesla bot. That is what I want to do. I didn't realize that joining Tesla's AI team meant I'd work on a Tesla bot. I thought I'd just be working on a car. So will we see this prototype in 2022? I'm not counting on a functional prototype next year because pretty much every time there's a prototype or some deadline from Tesla that Elon Musk gives, it never really comes true, but it does come true in the long run. It seems that Elon Musk overall has a, if you can't beat him, join him type of mentality when it comes to AI. I think he would be one of the first people to talk about how scary it is that humans are making computers that are going to be smarter than them and could potentially take over. And then he's at the same time making that very robot that is five foot eight inches tall, weighs 140 something pounds and could theoretically take over. They are just programming it so that it definitely can't do that and so it will take care of some of your meaningless tasks or your dangerous tasks. So after the event concluded and they unveiled this insane Tesla robot, they talked a little bit more about what the event was actually for, which is where they're at right now, which is achieving full self-driving. The full Dojo computer should be operational by next year and that will be doing all of this neural network training. And they are trying to get those training times down. The autopilot simulator itself will expand from an autopilot simulator to an everything simulator, which makes a lot of sense. They've figured out how to take camera data from these eight autopilot cameras that seem awfully low resolution, and they figured out how to map out a realistic picture of the world in a simulation, so that can expand everywhere beyond full self-driving. Where they're at right now with accuracy, they said they're within about three to four simulators of accuracy from what their neural network thinks is there to the real world, and what they're currently working on is getting it down to to one centimeter. For right now, full self-driving is focused on the United States. So they are focused on training and getting it achieved in the United States because the United States has a certain level of standard when it comes to traffic. Examples of other countries they gave will be incredibly hard problems to solve and they will get there eventually. But they've been receiving data from over 50 countries and they are currently solving one problem at a time, like I said, the US first and then roll it out to the rest of the world. The prime objective here is that they don't crash and that these cars are safer than human drivers. Now luckily in the questions afterwards, someone revealed something that maybe wasn't supposed to leak and that is that the operational name for this Tesla bot is Optimus Prime. Definitely fitting for Tesla and their sense of humor, but it's crazy that they are actually working on this thing and that there was kind of a prototype on stage. It's a prototype of what it would look like in theory and then hopefully sometime next year or the year after, we will see this thing functioning and actually walking onto the stage. Elon Musk stressed multiple times in the question section and when they first unveiled this Tesla bot that it will be able to be overpowered without much trouble. You can run away from it easily, you are going to be stronger than it and that is their main focus because that is everyone's big fear when it comes to any sort of humanoid robot. Most people think of Tesla and they think of electric cars. Sometimes they think of cheap build quality. Sometimes they just think of Elon Musk and then they think that eventually these cars are going to disappear because other companies are going to make good electric cars that are way better than Tesla's. But Tesla is currently working on their own batteries. They're working on improving that technology, getting them to be cheaper, getting manufacturing to be cheaper, getting better range out of them so that these cars can get more and more affordable in the future with their plans of making a $25,000 electric car, hopefully coming within the next couple of years. They are also the same company that is making the Cybertruck. So they're not just making an electric truck, they're making this crazy electric truck. 
They're also working on solar panels and all sorts of energy generation. They have their power walls. They have so many things going on. And now we got all these details about their new AI training computer. The Dojo computer should be operational next year and should be the most advanced in the world. Tesla will also keep working on full self-driving and using this autopilot simulation to hopefully push this to the United States first within the next couple years. They didn't give an official timeline as to when that is coming, but we know that it takes some time and we can see why it takes so much time after watching this event. Then Tesla is moving forward into robotics and just general AI with their Tesla bot. It's absolutely insane and something you would never expect from Tesla because you just think of them as a car company. But as I said, there was so much going on at this event that seemed like it could be applied anywhere that it really made sense that they ended up at this Tesla bot as crazy as it is. I can't wait to see what comes of this thing and it's really exciting that before this comes, we'll see the Cybertruck, the Model Y out of a couple new factories from Tesla and much more. In the meantime, if you wanna see more about Tesla and their latest vehicle, the Model S Plaid, which is the quickest production car available, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.